I'm Lucky Severson. The number is almost impossible to believe. The World Health Organization says 10 million people around the world die each year because antibiotics don't work anymore. It's a growing problem and it's all because of a germ's genes. Let us consult our guide to the genome. Since their discovery in the last century, antimicrobial agents have substantially reduced the threat posed by infectious diseases. Over the years, these medicines have saved the lives and eased the suffering of millions of people. But these gains are now threatened by the advent of antibiotic-resistant microbes. Bacteria can flourish any place they can find moisture, but they've been kept in check for approximately 60 years by antibiotics. Usually antibiotics work. Most of the germs die, but there are always a few that are slightly better able to cope with the drugs. These stronger bugs reproduce while the lesser bugs die off. Natural selective breeding leads to drug resistance. It's a very efficient system. Bacteria breed fast, doubling their numbers every 20 minutes or so. Unchecked, two can become two million in seven hours. And all those germs have other ways of picking up genetic information. Well, health officials in Southern California are reporting more than 350 cases of a rare superbug called CRKP right now. So how concerned should people be about this? Our chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, joins us with that. So how worried should we be about this, Rich? You know, people hear the term superbug and they get alarmed. And, and this is one of those cases where I, th I think there should be some alarm. I, I spent seven years at the Centers for Disease Control working on resistant infections. And it's like we're locked in a battle. You know, we develop new drugs to treat these infections and, and the germs change to get around those drugs. And this is one of those cases. And how dangerous is this superbug? Well, this one is, is very like dangerous. Brad Spellberg author of Rising Plague. These organisms are the experts at resistance. He says more infections are starting out as bacteria in food or other ordinary places and evolving into deadly drug resistant superbugs. It is starting to move out of the hospitals and into the community. Health officials say that resistance is growing, especially among these five deadly bacteria. Virtually all of them carry genes that prevent antibiotics from working and these genetic mutations are spreading. Do you consider this a grave public health crisis? Yeah, this is a convergence of two public health crises, skyrocketing antibiotic resistance and dying antibiotic development. Developing a new antibiotic takes at least 10 years and costs as much as $1.7 billion. Drug companies make more money creating medicines people take every day for chronic conditions like high blood pressure, insomnia, or sexual dysfunction. We've all heard of E. coli, but now scientists have found a new bug that can live inside this, and it's resistant to almost all antibiotics. A new gene, NDM1, has reached the UK, and scientists warn it could spread rapidly as nothing is being developed to treat it. Alert, it is being called the new superbug, and it is spreading throughout hospitals right here in Arizona. It may be killing more Americans, listen to this, each year than AIDS, according to the Centers for Disease Control, the superbug sickens more than 90,000 Americans each year and could be responsible for more than 18,000 deaths per year. Authorities in Virginia shut down 21 schools for cleaning after a high school student died from the infection. Mr. President. Senator from Connecticut. Thank you, Mr. President. We are in a fight with antibiotic resistant mutating germs. These antibiotic resistant drugs are really a spreading score. All 50 states have seen rates of antibiotic resistant E. coli infections double in less than 10 years. When you mention the term superbug, many people might immediately think of MRSA, but it's another bug that has healthcare professionals worried. It's called C. diff, and many doctors fear it may be a bigger threat than all other superbugs. Here with more information is Dr. Daniel Kala, an emergency room physician and author of the medical novel of Flesh and Blood. Dr. Kala, thanks so much for being here. A pleasure to be here. You mentioned that C. diff has basically been flying under the radar for about a decade now, so how does it compare to MRSA? Well, it's really, you know, there's evidence that MRSA, at least in hospitals, has stayed stabilized or on decline, but 
uh, your superbugs, first of all, are bugs that are resistant to multiple antibiotics, and now C. diff has become one of those. And it's a growing and growing threat in the hospitals. And the problem is, once it gets a toehold in the hospitals, it's really hard to eradicate because it can live in spores, can live er anywhere. You know, despite the best cleaning efforts, it can be almost impossible to get rid How of. How about hand washing? Does that play a role? Oh yeah, you know, the very best thing any of us can do for any infectious disease is to wash our hands. We spread most infections through our hands. Our hands are our portal to our blood systems and our lungs and our stomachs and we really if we can wash our hands you can cut down exposures drastically. To